that's very kind of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kermin. Hi, I'm Nurul Fatin Abdullah. So in today's episode, we will have Nurul here to tell us about, to discuss the topic on what exactly does a convincing lawyer do? So as an introduction, could you tell us your brief overview on how you entered to convincing? Let's make it short. I actually decided to enter convincing sectors during my privilege oh. period of time. One of the partners mm -hmm. decided to, to put me into a insurance litigation oh, wow. but then I think I would be more suitable in convincing because I have actually helped them going through some documents and I think I would do better in that convincing department. I think another factor is because I think buying houses for first time buyer would be a little bit hard or a little bit complicated for them because they don't usually understand what is the terms uh -huh. etc. what is the process so I think if I am in the convincing department, I can actually explain better to my friends, to my families about the convincing process. It's actually to avoid them being like It's a lot of process. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be one of the people who can help them go through each and every process. If they don't understand, I can help to explain it. That's, how, that's why I'm in convincing. So like, what got you into convincing is that you initially had already interest and yep. the supporting was that you like to help people who... Yeah, yep. um, I think I can help to explain the things. You can actually ask my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I help them like... Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right. then, like, what should come in mind then when we talk about convincing? When you actually pronounce convincing, it will bring you to another word which is houses. Or when you mention houses, mm -hmm. it, will, it will further bring you to sub sales, projects. It's a categories of purchasing the house. I mean, it's sub sale, it's second hand houses. Mm -hmm. If projects you buy directly from the developer, uh -huh. uh, that's most of the people think about when you say convincing. And when people ask me, what, what kind of lawyer am I? And I would say I am a convincing lawyer, I'm doing property, I help people to, to handle transactions for sale and purchase. Mm. The, like, aside from like, helping, uh, helping people, what aspects of convincing do you like it about? Like, it makes you devoted to it instead of going to other areas? I think because I would do better in doing the papers, in oh. drafting agreement. So, like between contentious and non contentious, you prefer non contentious? Just like uh, litigation and non litigation. Okay, uh, alright, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I would say that I am not very much an advocate person mm -hmm. in the court. Mm -hmm. I would say I'm doing best in um, discussing the terms and if anything happens that needs my clients go to the court, I'll pass the file to my litigation lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> that would <will> be best. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, how, how long have you practiced convincing? Including my privilege terms, it would be 5 years and 9 months. But uh, my anniversary is on the 1st July, so this is 5 July 2015, so this is the 5th year. This is the 5th year. Yeah. Oh. So, after exper uh, practicing in this field so far, like, in your opinion, uh, how is the market of this area like employability, the saturation and like the starting wage of the area? The starting wage, uh, I would say it differs from uh, the size of the firms itself and also the location of the firms, the location of your practice. Mm -hmm. If KL, I would say the starting price for, for medium firms, it will be 3500 <laughs> if it's small firm, it would be around 2005 to 2008 after oh. the pillage period. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then going through the years as a practitioner, your salary would increase time to, um, by that amount. Oh. Mm -hmm. What about the employability? For convincing, mm -hmm. uh, I would say it, it's quite easy if you are willing to give your best. Because as a convincing lawyer, 
it's not actually different from litigation lawyer. Both proper, both professions are very busy. Mm -hmm. But I think commencing lawyer, especially when they, you are handling the projects, you would not have time for yourself, for your family. Even your weekend would be fully focused on your work because you'll be attending signing from morning till evening. And sometimes it actually, you, you have to go to signing for uh, at night. Uh, depending on the client's availability. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I would say for litigation, if they have um, cases you know, to, 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 to work on that, mm -hmm. they would have to work on that. Oh, okay. Very so. busy, yeah. But, but uh, the employment punya perspective, I think semua okay je. Semua okay je and kalau you okay, kalau you jauh okay, semua okay lah. <laughs> mm. uh, you jangan lah gimana sangat. But if you're entering into a big firm and you you believe in yourself that you can actually give your 100%, and uh, then no problem. Semuanya so, depends dekat you and what kind of working environment you're in mm. uh, Bagi I macam tu lah, it, dif it differs. It, dif it differs from each process. Oh, like when you say giving in, so how does a day at work sounds like that? Since I'm working in a firm that is small, my working time is very flexible. You see, I enter the office at 8 a.m. and I make sure myself by late around 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And my day starts at 8 a.m. as I mentioned before. I would check my email first mm -hmm. and if there is any client that contact me, I would definitely attend them first before I proceed to do my files. Mm. Prioritize what is the chain and then after that kita can buat lah yang the next next minute. As long as you have been organized, prepare a list and that, you know, being organized lah, that's a key for me. Mm. And uh, like practicing so long, like what have been the highlights of your career then? Like the milestones or like the moments that made you proud of being a conveyancing lawyer? Mm, I think because I have managed to get by my own, my clients mm -hmm. and bring them into my firms, uh, that's a highlight of my career. Because that's uh, the point where I actually believe in myself. Mm -hmm. I can start this mm -hmm. and I can do this. From, uh, instead of relying on the bosses to, to find uh, clients, mm -hmm. instead I tell you oh. uh, That's how we that means people actually believe in this, believe in our capability to handle the transaction. Okay. That's right. Like, mm. <laughs> okay. I understand that some firms have mm. commission based if you get clients or yeah. do you hand, or do you not get commission at all if that's I, the case? I did because oh, I yeah. am one of the clients. So oh. definitely I'll get commission based on Files. That's the reason why I said that this is my highlight because the bigger the amount, the bigger commission. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Am I being too honest? No, no it's, it's good, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Like, what's your definition of success then? Alright, okay. My definition of success difference from the first I entered this legal fraternity. Uh -huh. Reason why I said that because at first I think the wages defines all. The higher wages you, uh -huh. you get, uh -huh. then the 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 most successful. No, the most successful. No, for me, time is everything. Uh -huh. If I get time for myself, time for my families, I think that's the that's the, that's the, that's, the, that's the, me definition of successful. Uh -huh. Work and life balance. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Then how do you achieve this success, this definition of success then? I okay. First of all, I have to explain this. I am not yet <laughs> successful lawyer. Mm -hmm. Um but I think I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. I'm in the in the right track for myself. I'm ticking the boxes that I think I should tick to get to the point where I am considered as successful. For myself, I'm not talking about the person, it's about myself. Um, as I mentioned before, it's all about time mm -hmm. and uh, I can actually spend the money to my family, to myself, it's actually bringing happiness. Right? Yeah. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So moving on to our last question then. Oh okay, yes! <laughs> Alright, okay. Like what advice would you give to aspiring lawyers or students who are interested in the field of convincing then? Um, okay. Do not um do not be low self-esteem when you decide to enter convincing in your field because there would be person ataupun uh, ada akan orang cakap kalau you buat convincing you are no you tak boleh dikira sebagai lawyer sebab you are not going to the court mm-hmm. and that's why you will only be in the office type akan call buat surat etc no um i think lawyers in convincing or litigation are all lawyers mm. we all attend our client to their best interest we protect their interest as well as our self so bila do not do not have a second thought in uh, on this kalau you rasa you better in convincing do it be the best of it because believe me you will reach that point okay that's yeah, all exactly. all right thank you so much for that all right thank you okay that's it